Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and in this video I'm gonna write just one single line of code and I'm gonna give you more assignment to read further. Reading is a very good habit and reading and exploding more documentation will give you more idea how to read them and how to implement them as well. So without a further ado, let's get started and first let's write this code and I would highly recommend you to follow along with me. Now this line of code, even though if you will not write, it's not going to give you any bug, but it's a good practice since we are using the latest version of Mongoose. So if, if you notice here in the Mongoose version 5.5, in case I remember it correctly, it was, I think in the 4.5 or something version that they made it like thing like what we are about to do. So in case you are using anything about like 5.5 or even if the 5.5, this is kind of a compulsory line that you should write. Okay, so what is this line of code? It's really simple. All we have to do is call this mongoose. And as I mentioned, it has a tons of properties. One of these property is the promises. So what is this promises and what it's doing? We know it's the then and catch and we have never discussed anything uh, apart from this. But if you'll notice here, it says import as Q from Q. So what is this Q? And in case you will notice very carefully in the documentation, you're gonna see Bluebird as well. So yeah, definitely a confusing point that what is this Q? What is this Bluebird? We know only about one promises, the ES6 promises, even never thought that this is having multiple variety. So for right now, let's just see, uh, mongoose.promises, what we want to do is we simply want to call global dot, oops, global dot promise. There we go. And that's it. That's all I want to write. Now with this line of code, what I'm saying that I am interested in ES6 promises. So then this entire uh, code that whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do with ES6 promises. But the big question that comes up is, do we have more variety of promises? I thought it's a default language feature. Now, when the ES6 was not that much, in fact, when ES6 was not introduced and there were not, in fact, much option to have these promises, people were using these promises at that time too. At that time, it was not a default feature, but we have a whole variety of these promises. For that, I have an amazing link of Stack Overflow, again, the holy grail of every programmer. So if we go up here on this one, we can see that are there still reasons to use promises libraries like Q or Bluebird uh, now that we have have ES6 promises. Now, definitely, uh, we don't need much of these Bluebird and Q promises. They are something like, uh, you can install them just like you have installed Nodemon or anything like that. And in that you can use these promises, exact same, almost exact same feature that we have. Uh, but definitely, uh, now everybody prefers that we are going to use uh, something known as ES6 promises. But still, Maybe you're working in a company or maybe you will get a job in a such a company which uses Bluebird or maybe Q as their promises and you're going to see these kinds of things like Promisify and Promisify All uh, quite a number of time and we have a whole lot of options in the Bluebird. Uh, I believe Bluebird are still much more advanced in the ES6 as compared to the ES6 promise but whatever we need we can actually handle it with the ES6 promise but definitely they have a whole bunch of things and that's why I have opted out uh, in their documentation as well so you definitely want to check out their Bluebird promises and they have a whole bunch of things that they explain up here so definitely this is something that I wanted to mention and again you can just pause the video and just search for this so just uh, search on the Google this line are there still reasons to use promises like and definitely that's going to be the first link so the quick assignment is first and foremost make sure you use the global promises for this entire course we are going to be using ES6 promises so again then and catch and all these things are going to be friendly for us no extraordinary thing but just for the knowledge purpose Definitely it might be useful for you for writing more tests in a uh, big scale company or anything like that. You definitely want to check out something as uh, at least Bluebird. You can ignore the queue because it's not that much used right now, but Bluebird still is used quite a lot. So you definitely want to check out the Bluebird promises as well. Again, uh, in case you want me to make a little bit small video, small guidance about Bluebird and how to use these promises, I would love to do that uh, definitely after this series. So let me know in the comment section or on my Instagram. I'll love to make a video on that one as well. So that's it for this video. Make sure you read a little bit more documentation and we're going to quickly catch up in the next video. That's up. Catch you there.